Yeah, some, of, some of them dance men show, yeah. giving it all. Yeah, it was a good one. This year we'll, we'll, we'll get on it again. Uh, I can't hoping for a bit of a cheaper night as well. Like oh, last year was a bit, yeah. a bit heavy on me. Like. You okay? I think he's choking. Is anyone going to come and help? Are you okay there? Are you choking? Can you cough? No? Lean forward for me. I'm just going to hit your back, okay? Okay, I'm just going to squeeze into your stomach. Okay, here. Lean forward again. Let it go. Just going to hit your back again. Choking. Choking is something that happens often and can occur anywhere at any time. If someone is choking, you will need to act quickly to help them. If someone appears to be choking, they will probably begin to panic very quickly. Usually, the casualty will stand up and point to their neck or throat and will begin to turn red quite quickly. If they don't get the help they need, they could collapse quickly. First, you should ask the casualty if they are choking and if they can cough. This helps us to work out what kind of blockage they have in their airway. If they can answer you, or if they can cough, they have a partial obstruction. This means that some air can get past the object. Encourage the casualty to keep coughing until they have coughed up the object. If the casualty cannot talk or cough, then they have a full obstruction of the airway. This means that the airway is blocked and no air can get past the obstruction. If this is not treated quickly, then the casualty will run out of oxygen and become unconscious. The treatment of choking is by giving the casualty up to five back blows and up to five abdominal thrusts to try to remove the obstruction. You should stand to one side of the casualty and ask them to bend forward slightly while supporting their chest with your arm. Hit them up to five times between the shoulder blades with the heel of your hand. Check after each blow to see if the object has been cleared. If, after five back blows, the airway is still obstructed, then you will need to move on to abdominal thrusts. Stand behind the casualty and make a fist with your non-dominant hand. Place it on their stomach, between their belly button and the bottom of their ribs. Cover the fist with your other hand. Then pull sharply inwards and upwards to force the air upwards, which will hopefully clear the obstruction. Repeat this up to five times, checking each time to see if the obstruction has cleared. If this does not work, Return to back blows and repeat the whole process up to three times. Ask a bystander to call an ambulance if the obstruction is not clearing. If this does not work, the casualty will become unconscious due to lack of oxygen. Firstly, check their responses. Then open the airway and check to see if the object has dislodged and is in their mouth. If so, remove it carefully. Check if the casualty is breathing. If the casualty is not breathing, 
shout for help and begin CPR. Make sure that someone calls 999 or 112 for an ambulance. If you are alone, you will need to do this yourself. Give 30 chest compressions followed by two rescue breaths. Check the mouth regularly to see if the obstruction has been cleared during CPR. Keep repeating the process until help arrives and takes over 